Hello friends, today we're going to learn about implementing lazy loading in Swift. I've already done that in Objective C and I received some comments and some personal messages to make it in Swift. So it's just a replica of that tutorial. So let's get started. Uh, take a new project and I will name it as SD Web Image Swift. Save wherever you want. I'm saving it on desktop. Now this time I'm going to use Cocoa Ports to implement this uh, SD Web Image library. So first of all, just copy this port SD Web Image uh, from GitHub and open your terminal. Navigate to your project. Uh, so this is my project just hit a command pod in it. It will create a pod file for you So there is a pod file Text edit as you are using Swift, just uncomment this use framework uncomment this platform iOS 8.0 and write pod as the web image which you have just copied save and hit pod install so this will install the SD web image via Cocoa Pods and now we don't need this Xcode proj. Uh, there will be a new file called XE workspace and we have to work in that workspace. Uh, I will trim the video because uh, this pod will take some time maybe one or two minutes so please be patient. So here we are done. The uh, SD Web Image library is successfully installed here, and now we can open. We can close this terminal. We don't need that. We can open the SD Web Image workspace file. As now we are with Cocoa Pods. So just I'm closing the Xcode again and opening the file again. So we are all set up here. You can see go to ports navigate to ports and there is the complete SD web image library for us so now we'll take a custom table view here and a custom image view to do the needful and I'll show you how to implement lazy loading so first of all in the default view controller we will take a UI table view and just make all corners zero So leading trailing all of them zero setting that table view delegate data source to self and we will take a custom table view cell there we will have a UI image view so here's the image view just provide the constants let's say 8 from left 8 from top 8 from bottom and your width fix so here we go <coughs> we'll make a new class for this custom table you cell image sorry uh, custom table you cell class cocoa touch class and let's say the name custom table you cell So here we go. We will make the class of this UI table view cell as the custom table view cell, and I will give the reuse identifier the same custom table view cell. Now I will make the outlet for the image view in custom table view cell class. Let's say the name will be image view, or let's say my image view perfect now moving on to view controller uh, UI table view 
data source UI table view we don't need delegate yet though but uh, okay we'll write table view we need two methods cell for row at index and table view number of rows okay fine I've already made an array of uh, various images which are on internet so let's declare an array which will be ns array and then I will just initiate that array so these are all the images all the objects just make the return as array dot count and let's cell equals to table view cell dq cell with identifier and the identifier will be custom table view cell which we have just given uh, in the storyboard itself and return cell so now we need to uh, display the images in my image view so we have already imported the SD web image so we'll write SD web image here uh, this is the problem with Swift sometimes it uh, doesn't recognize the various libraries which we have just uh, uh, included in our part. See, the build is succeeded earlier, it was giving that module was not found, so no worries yet. So, cell dot my image view st underscore. See, we have all the methods uh, which uh, are there in the SD web image library and which will really help us to perform the lazy loading operation. So let's take this one SD image with URL uh, and a placeholder image. I will just uh, uh, do a placeholder kind of thing. Uh, I will just uh, fetch an image uh, for the placeholder too. Uh, first of all, let's take a URL and URL will be array dot object at index index path dot row as string and let's say the image for placeholder will be placeholder so far so good now I have a placeholder image uh, I have it I think okay I just Okay, I don't have the image currently. Uh, let's see, I have the image. Uh, no, I don't have the image. So let's download from internet. Let's say image loading. Just a simple image which will show loading images. Please wait, kind of thing. Same image and placeholder. Oh, I have placeholder showing me just hang on a second uh, I don't know PNG already exists okay just replace it no issues so I'll drag this one in my image exits XC assets and here is the placeholder image so now let's run the project and see everything is fine Oh yeah, 
these are loading but the images are not as uh, you know they are completely stretched out so we will just make it expect fit here and you can see the images are loaded perfectly fine I'll show you once again as I've done it in objective C tutorial you can obviously follow that and see what is the difference so here the images again are lazily loaded first it's showing the image loading and as we move further I'll show you once again uh, here we go so images are loading and then images get loaded so the beauty of this library is once the images are loaded and they are not loaded again and again they are kept in a cache some kind of NS cache and they are just fetched from the same URL key value pair so this is all about lazy loading in Swift and you can uh, do various apps using this that's all thank you so much